dark triad well dark triad is like a triangle there are three personality which is usually dark that means the people who are having these personality traits tend to be malevolent and antisocial mostly negative right but before that uh, just mind that all these uh, you know the dark triad personality types are genetic mostly you cannot do anything other than knowing that are you really belongs to any of these uh, dark triad personality types you know so it is mostly by nature not nurture nurture means the way you were brought up right uh, how, you know the, the environment play a crucial role but for the dark triad environment doesn't matter much the several studies on that it's mostly the nature that is your genetic markup right so the first of this dark triad personality type is called machiavellianism so uh, you know that uh, uh, Machiavelli is, is uh, a, a very famous courtyard and he is, uh, uh, you know, he is kind of like, he knows lots of uh, uh, dirty tactics to get into, you know, the system, the French uh, monarchy system, right? He was a courtier in uh, France. So Machiavellianism is highly manipulative. You can check out more about Machiavelli and his uh, tactics. To be aware of the others if they're playing this uh, Machiavellianism on you by checking out uh, Robert Greene books, you know, especially the 48 Laws of Power. Please check out the book, you know. Uh, yeah, so you can you you can be aware that are the per people around you are playing this kind of manipulative games against you, so that you can defend yourself, right? So Machiavellianism is uh, 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 the character, uh, the personality type tend to be manipulative, tend to be immoral and duplicitous, you know, different, two different personality at two different contexts, something like uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, very famous classical British novella, check it out, that novella, you know, uh, yeah, so the Jekyll and Hyde, right, so they are often uh, seeks a self-interest and gain, you know, like corruption, Machiavellianism. The second one, of this dark triad is called narcissism. So narcissist means extreme self-love and extreme egoticism, right? They tend to be pride, they tend to be arrogant, then the grandiose, they would like to speak out so much good about ourselves, you know, themselves. And they usually tend to have less empathy for others too. So narcissism is another classical example of the dark triad personality. And the, the finally, the third one is called psychopathy, quite antisocial and increased boldness, you know, uh, they take brash decisions and impulsive purchases they tend to make. And they tend to get anger too fast, right? They cannot control emotions. They tend to have decreased inhibitions too. So as decreased empathy and decreased remorse even if they commit a mistake they don't feel guilt about it or shame about it you know so the remorse that feeling usually doesn't come for the, the psychopaths right so these three personalities are tend to associate with lots of negative attributes with our life you know and if you how do you know that is it really a, a dark trial do you have it or not you can do the same test uh, you know the big five personality test and if you score very low in three attributes of the big five attributes are agreeableness if you have very low agreeableness and low consciousness at the same time high in neuroticism you know low in agreeableness low in consciousness while high in neuroticism then you tend to have this dark triad personality type that is what uh, research shows, you know. And of course, there are, there are tests dedicated only to test about this dark triad. So an example is personalitytesting.info. In S SD3, link is in the show notes of this video. You can check it out, the dark triad test, right? And why do you want to know about uh, the, are you really dark triad or not? Because, you know, you can take precautions with the office future. You cannot do anything if you have a... For example, if you're a psychopath or you have a narcissism, you cannot change from that to another. Changing itself is bad. But you can take precautions. For example, if you have, if you're a, uh, you know, uh, psychopath, psychopathy, if you score high, 
then you tend to make this impulse purchases. So you can, you know it, right? You tend to make this impulsive decision. So uh, you can think more, uh, you know, don't take this impulsive decisions of purchases, all those things. And now that, uh, yes, yeah, so this dark triad, you might think, okay, these are really negative personality types. So uh, the people don't usually achieve success in their life. Quite the opposite. That, that is very interesting. There are so many interesting papers like some, for example, Fun Harm in 2013 and Templar in 2018. Check out my book and in-depth coverage is there in the book, okay? These papers analyzed chances of career success with various personality types and they found a fantastic correlation. If you are, if you tend to uh, be very high in these, all these three dark triad personality types, you are more prone to get success in your life, especially in the promotion, faster promotion, you know. And because of that, workplace become toxic. You tend to bully the other co-workers. You tend to be less with empathy, you know. And uh, that leads to high stress level in the workplace. So it's, it's very, very, uh, I mean, the implications are exhaustive, you know. Uh, the reason is simple that this dark triad personality types tend to climb the success ladder in workplace so much faster because they know the tactics. They know the 48 laws of power of Robert Greene. They know how to manipulate other persons like Mashia Willi. You know, so beware of it, right? Hope it works and hope this helps. Thank you for watching.